TitleMatchNetwork.com. Man, it was so much fun, and and it was something that we got to enjoy, and it was just it was really just a fluke, you know. It was just something that uh, Jimmy, I believe it was Jimmy Hart's idea, you know. It was something that he, that he said. He just he just said it, you know, just off the hand. He says, "Man, you guys are such rednecks. Look at you." And then he goes, "Yeah, rednecks, the rednecks." So you know, there's me and Kimball. You know, we're wearing our boots and jeans like we always do. So then, just out of the blue, with, without uh, me, Kendall, or Bobby Duncan knowing about it, Kurt went mm-hmm. down to uh, to Tampa with with uh, Jimmy, and and sings a song. Right. They they make the Redneck song. So the right. next week we're the Rednecks. Okay. So then the next week after that. I'm supposed to know how to play the drums. <laughs> Kendall's supposed to know how to play guitar. And here we are, all this stuff. I mean, it had to be so hokey because I mean, there I am. I'm working playing the drums. Right. <laughs> you know, I'm doing this shit and I'm not even, I'm trying to come as close as I can to the drums right. without actually touching them. And I'm trying to keep in beat. And brother, <laughs> I don't have that <laughs> kind of beat. You know, I can't play a drum, you know, so I'm supposed to be doing right. a boom, boom, <laughs> looking like I'm having fun. But I think that because it, it got over to a point, you know, well, well the, I mean, I've got, I got, I've got the proof, you know, I got the numbers. I know what the numbers are. And I, our segments when the rednecks were on were, were the highest rated segments in the show. A lot of times. Do you think it was squashed by Hogan and all because it was getting more over than he was? I don't, you know, I don't know that it was Hogan. I, I don't know if they thought that it was too close to being, you know, something racial. Or, or if they just, somebody just didn't actually like the idea that it was getting over. And, and you know, I, I don't, I don't think Hogan, you know, would do that to me. What's he like in the locker room? You know, he, he's just, a, you know, he's a straightforward guy, seems to me. Hogan is one of those guys that, you know, I always, I always just, just missed him. He, uh, he and I actually talked about it one night. You know, Hogan and I have never worked together. And that was something, you know, when, when I was at my best and, and, and he was, you know, that, that was, that was something that could have happened, but we were right. always, you know, here or there. And, and we just missed each other. And he told me, he says, man, he says, there's four guys in the business that I wanted to work with. He said, you're one of them that I've never got to work with. He told me that. Hmm. So I said, well, man, I think that day's passed. I said, unless you know, doing a job for you on TV. <laughs> so he said, no, brother, man, I think we could do something. So I, I don't think it was Hogan. I just think that it was, I, I think that it was. Uh, powers of big. Yeah, the towers up at uh, CNN. Right. just thought it was just a little too racial. You what know, is- the rednecks. TitleMatchNetwork.com